I made my prediction for the Colts. Uh, I had them going 11-5. and five. I really like them. My one question was, do they have kind of a scat running back? Because Phillip Rivers loves swing routes. He loves to use that. Um, and I'm like, well, they don't have their two. What is it? Ma, Marlon Mack and then uh, what's Hines Jonathan Taylor. Was their Naheem scat- Hines. Yeah. Yeah, so that do you do you know anything about him? I I know very little about him. That's literally you know what he is. He's, he's a he's a scat yeah. back. You know, we're we're in, we're in five man protection. We're free releasing him to the flat. You know, we're getting yeah. him on angle routes. We're running him on wheels. We'll put him out in the slot, go empty. He'll run option routes. Like that's kind of what he does. Mm. Uh, yeah, because Jonathan Taylor's not a great receiver. No, he's nope. okay. And yeah. Marlon Mack is he's good in protection, but again, he's not like a great threat as a receiver Naheem yeah. Hines is that guy so how do they get him on the field though because I know like thing. with Eckler it's nice because with Eckler before he's on the field all the time so it's yeah. never a shock when it's not a it's a surprise I guess sometimes when he runs a swing that's the thing is because both the other guys are so much better at running than Hines yeah you know they, they're just they're better running backs <laughs> than, than well, receivers to a defense you tip your hand if Naheem Hines comes onto the field you go okay we know what they're doing Exactly. Right. And then then you're basically just like, all right, we're going into dime. We're putting a corner on him. So yep. you almost kind of have to put a lot of runs with him on tape and then mm-hmm. just try to try to figure out like, OK, if, if you're going against like a one gap front, like, OK, let's see if we can catch him in some traps and like spring mm-hmm. Hines for a little bit. Put that on tape like that we're threatening it and then, you know, kind of make make him second guess a little bit. Yeah, uh, and and leave like nickel out there instead of putting out dime because then we might be able to get like a Mike linebacker on him if we if we put him out to like number three in the slot like then we might be able to get that matchup but they're gonna have to run with him I think early in the year to put it on tape to let them know that they're willing to do it before they can really get him involved as a receiver. I love we we have an incredible matchup week two we have the Vikings and. Uh, the Colts. It's going to be so much fun. Mm. And I, I was watching the Vikings. I think it was Vikings Raiders. They had this blitz, and I'm like, I don't know. There's literally, Mike Zimmer's such a genius. I'm like, I there's literally no way to beat this blitz. I was like, oh, my God. Like Mike Zimmer sometimes pulls out stuff, and you're like, I, I, don't, I as a quarterback, I don't know what I would do here. You're just, it's just over. Um, I, do you think that matchup's really fun, the Colts and the Vikings? I think it's interesting because I think we're going to see Phillip Rivers who's one of yep. the more seasoned minds in the NFL, yep. going up against Mike Zimmer, one of the more seasoned DCs in the NFL. But more yeah. specifically, it's going to be Phillip Rivers versus Eric Kendricks, which I think mm. is a phenomenal battle at the line of scrimmage because Eric Kendricks is brilliant. And so I'm going to be watching that game solely to watch them checking against each other at the line of scrimmage because I think that's going to be really, really, really fun to watch. Like I think we're going to see check, shifts check, all check. over the place. <laughs> and I, like I think all 40 seconds of that clock are going to be used on every play when the Colts mm. have the ball. Because I think that's it's, awesome. It's going to be a, a it's going to be a mind meld. You know, it's going to be fun. Yeah. 